Alright, hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to Dino Crisis. One, uh, well, the first Dino Crisis wasn't really my childhood favourite. I actually don't remember ever completing the first Dino Crisis. The second one though, the second Dino Crisis I love. And I've completed it many, many times. Oh, can see a little cinematic. It came out of nowhere. You're extinct. Make your choice. Cool little cinematic, that. But yeah, the second one I absolutely loved. I completed it a few times, I think. You know, back in my childhood days. And, well, the third one, we don't talk about the third one, okay? That's going to be a rule on this channel. We do not talk about the third Dino Crisis game. Don't even mention it from this point onwards. Alright, now that said, let's get in there. New game, good it on normal. Let's do this. I've done like playtest about five minutes of playtesting just to see some options. And this is using the um from military experiment facility. Agent name Tom. This is using uh, emulation version 2.05, by the way. The guise of a researcher is planned. I have encountered no information regarding top secret development of new type weapons. But I have discovered there is an unexpected individual at this facility. The man is Dr. Kirk, the leading authority of our nation's energy research. Dr. Kirk was alleged to have died in an accident during the course of an experiment three years ago. The reports were premature and it appears that he is currently working as the head of a non-weapon project at this facility. The experiment is in the late stages of development. Regarding the staged accidental death, it appears that this country is somehow involved. Recommending that necessary actions be taken immediately. Refer to the data on Dr. Kirk. Operation Instructions Well, we got our mission I skipped these cutscenes by the way when I was doing my playtests I can barely remember them Wesker. Sorry, I'm late. It's time. Let's move out. <laughs> He's actually Wesker. <laughs> it looks pretty almost like Wesker. What about Cooper? Forget it's Jill with a different haircut. Time's up. Wait, wait. Then there's Lewis from Left 4 Dead. Imagine him without any hair, and he looks pretty much like Lewis. Oh, there's Joseph. <laughs> The one that dies at the start. <laughs> How did he get lost? Didn't he like follow us or something?
Don't know why he stopped. I mean, you keep running. Ah, now we're in actual gameplay. Now we're with Wesker, okay. Jill, and Lewis. This is the first checkpoint. Playtime is officially over, kiddies. Looks like he's got grey hair in the actual game, but in the cutscenes he's got blonde. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Hmm. Um, maybe this has been a wild night of partying for the guards. You know, yes, of course. Go on, Wesker. Scout on ahead. Stay here. With your bolter cannon from the Warhammer. Well, just just a bolter, really. Hey, did you hear what he just called me? Forget about it. Just let Gale handle this. All right, it's clear. All right, let's go. Eagle. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. Alright, Lewis. I know your name's Rick. We've got Rick, Regina, and... Damn, what... Gale, that's it. Uncle Gale from Resident Evil Dark Souls 3. Let me guess. This is some of your handiwork, right? How? The brass is still warm. It's blood. These guards were shooting at something very recently. Sure, hope this isn't Chris's blood. So who were they fighting? This wasn't much of a fight. I don't think these guards hit anything before getting sliced and diced. Whatever they were shooting at came in through there, and ripped right through the steel fence. Well, the hole is nice and clean, but I still say you could have done this. Very <laughs> funny. We still need to figure out what happened here. Continue to sweep the area. Gail, okay, you need to lighten up, my man. Oh, Wesker, sorry, you need to lighten up. I want my shotgun shells. The controls are a little weird in this game. Right trigger is to do a free uh, 180. Right bumper is to aim. I think A is to shoot. Need the B1 backup generator room key to open this door. Okay. Hey, Gail. I'm assuming I have to go through here. Yes. Can't go the other way because that's where Rick went, and I think Gail will have a moan at me if I go there. Ooh. Dining room. This is another classic by Capcom, obviously. I got the BG area key. The backup generator area key. Ground level. Nice. Anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. Common essentials for maintaining the facility. Oh, fantastic. Aha, I can push this. Here we go. Yeah, she's not as quick at pushing that as what, you know, Resident Evil is. We take the... We take the resuscitation. I will take the resuscitation. Thank you. You can return to life with your health fully restored. Oh, that's powerful. I've only got one out of two of them, though. Was that it? I thought that was ammo. Never mind. Right. I've got a forklift here. Doesn't seem to be operational. Well, you didn't even try, did you, Regina? All right, let's exit. Hey Wesker, how's it going? He's checking the ground. Wow! I can't believe it. It was astonishing. I would never have known that. I thought he was just, you know, I don't know, gazing into the midnight sky. He had been ripped apart with great force. How do you know? I mean, someone might have just cut it and then bent it out of shape. You don't know. Well, I can go through here now, which is great. I've got that item. 
Use. It cannot be used here. What is this? This is the backup generator area, ground level. What's this? Oh, what was that? You need the B1 backup generator room key. Isn't that this key? Huh. I thought it was that key. Mm, I can't go in here. Watch room off the guard. It's dark. Noise needs to be inside. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. I know that, but I don't have anything to do. Who's inside the Rick? Okay. Gail, you're checking the ground. What do I do? Ooh. What? Aha! The hemostat. Sure. That prevents bleeding. So, B1 backup generator room key. Well, I've got that, haven't I? This is the BG key. It cannot be used here, but it says here, this is the backup generator area, ground level. Yeah, B1 backup generator. I'm guessing it's a separate key. Huh. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to go back. She said, deserted, though. I have a very bad feeling about this. How's the progress going with that security system? I don't know what's been going on here, but it looks like all the power in this facility has been cut. Same here. As long as that's the situation, there's not a lot I can do. Why don't you see if you can gain access to the backup generators on the ground level? I'm on it. What are you doing here? I caught the last part of your conversation. By the way, I found a key. Hand it over. Let's head outside. I guess we are going that way, Num. Well, first thing, I've got Uncle Gale to help me out. AKA Albert Wesker. From the past. What a future. Depends. I mean, hang on, this game was made before Resident Evil, wasn't it? I don't know actually, when was it even made? Ooh. I like how you can move whilst, you know, prepping your gun. Something that they didn't have in the Resident Evil games, which is surprising. <gasps> oh no! That's disgusting. This guy's been eviscerated. Something mm. tore his intestine really? straight out. Look at those tooth marks. It had to be some sort of animal. Okay, let's move on. Tooth marks? Is it not teeth marks? Oh yeah, we'll take the med pack M. That's not how you spell pack, by the way. <clears throat> The body appears to be torn apart violently by sharp blade-like projections. <clears throat> Does it look like anything? The state of the blood suggests that the victim died recently. Hopefully not too recent. They must have been used to carry materials. They may have been used as a source of backup power. They are empty. Well... You're right there. I'll stand guard here. You go inside and take a look around. Good idea. Let's do that. Backup generator room 1F. Hmm. The dining room. Appears to be a notice. Avoid using batteries from the other floor and vice versa. Okay. What's this? I could charge a battery there. I should probably pay attention to these notices. Use the device to automatically set the batteries. Always remember to keep the batteries charged. Well, someone obviously didn't get the memo. Aha! Alright. 
<clears throat> Nothing happened because some idiot messed these up. <sighs> Which order is it? Red, blue, green, white. So red is in the right place. Red. Let's do that one. Red, blue, green, white. Yeah, yeah. Right. Red, blue, green, white. Yep, that should be it if I am thinking correctly. There we go. All done. What is this? I could set. Okay, I'm gonna assume I need a battery at some point to put there. Well, that doesn't sound very good. I mean, if he couldn't take on whatever was out here with an assault rifle, then I don't think I'll stand much chance with a pistol. Oh. What came from there? Don't think Gale is down there. It's a raptor. I'm playing the role of Captain Obvious. Oh no. I'm gonna have to run away from it. Go, go, get away! Run! Run, 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 run. I do not want to fight you if I don't have to. Hello, buddy. Screw you. I can make it. I made it. I don't think they can traverse doors. They're not that smart. They're not Jurassic Park levels of smart. Oh, they so are Jurassic Park levels of smart. You can't jump over this one. Tall offence. Yeah, give up. Good news. I got the control system back online. What's the situation over there? It's Gale. I lost him. <laughs> so what's the bad news? Did you run into some guards? You're not going to believe this. He was attacked by some kind of dinosaur. This isn't a joke, you idiot. We were just attacked by a big-ass lizard. For real? What's going on over there? Uh, all right. Head over to the control room and we'll sort out this whole situation. I need to go there. My position is there, so I need to go... I, I... Wait, how do I get over there? Probably have to go in, right? Yeah, yeah. Office hallway. Hmm. The dining room. This is a very nice hallway. Oh, come on. Doors locked from the other side. Ooh. I'm going to be utilizing save states just so I don't have to repost. Repost. Redo um, progress. Basically, it's going to be like Resident Evil 1 and. Well, Resident Evil 2. There's a ventilation opening. I believe I can reach it by climbing. Okay, climbing what? Do you want to climb. To, how am I going to. I'm not going to be able to jump and reach that. Sure. 
Oh. Oh. Belt hook. Gotcha. But it's going to be just like Resident Evil 2, where I'm going to use save states to save and progress during the game so I don't have to redo progress and basically mess everything up. But I will be utilising the game's actual saving system as well. During, like, at the end of each episode, pretty much. Alright, what's down here? Aha, uh, uh -huh. so that will leave me on the other side of the lasers. Sure, where would this leave me? I don't like the sound of that. Control room. Oh, we're on the right. No, we are on the right path. I will take this. The nine parabellum. Yes, I will indeed. Thirty-four, thirty-four. So we can't take any more ammo. What's this? You can store medical supplies in this emergency box. You need a plug to open this emergency box. You do not have enough plugs. Well, damn it. Where are those butt plugs from Resident Evil 2 now when you need them? Yeah? Oh, okay. I was a bit hesitant about that. So let's go in the control room. I'm assuming this is the control room. Yes, it is. So, Rick should be here. There we go. He is. It's quite cosy. What's our status? This, this security system is a snap for me. Real amateur stuff. So, so what exactly happened to Gale? You said that he was attacked by a dinosaur? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I just hope he's still alive. Any anyway, our first priority is to complete the mission. What we ought to do is just call in the chopper and get off this death trap. That's that's a great idea, but Cooper has the radio and he's missing. <laughs> hey, what's with this monitor? That that's the security monitor for the underground area. The camera's offline. So so I take it that means power still hasn't been restored to the area. Exactly. They must have that area wired to a different power system than the ground level. We can investigate that area after we finished our sweep of the ground level. Okay. Then I'll take care of the shutters that are blocking the way. You work your way in, grab the dock, and then rendezvous back here. Right, um, I've noticed something. I don't know why the voices like cut out or repeat each other. Like they sort of like double speak, if that makes sense. I don't know why that's happening. Hopefully, it's not a major problem. ID cards required. Okay, so I don't have an ID card. When's the new? When do I get a save point? No, it's the pause menu, otherwise known as uh, Resident Evil Four. What focus on one pixel screen? Let's, let's do another safe state there. So, uh, well, game crash. All right, hello everyone, and uh, yeah, we're back. Yeah. Game did crash. Now what I want to know is where those things are coming from. Right. Yeah, the save state did work. It crashed when I tried reloading it when I was in the game earlier, but I reloaded it now and it seems to have worked still. So what's through this door now? Because we came from above. I know we're at like 20 minutes in and we're kind of running low on time. Why can't I put this up? A pump action shotgun? By L. Frenchy. Ooh, shotgun. I got a shotgun. I got a shotgun. I'm assuming it's in the equip screen. Yes, it's in the shotgun screen. Yes, yes, yes. I got a shotgun. And an, a disc. Collect the code disc with the same mark and set both parts into the door. DDK input disc H. Something seems to be inside the cardboard box. 
the hell is that? I got a plug. Use for red, green, and yellow boxes. Multiple plugs may be necessary. Well, guard rotation schedule is posted here. A switch, we press it. Yes. Ooh. There's blood leaning into that room. Oh. Hello there, sir. You're not a zombie, are you? Oh, there's a lot of things I'm picking up in this one room. It appears to be a panel that can unlock an electronic lock. Leo. Three symbols are posted on it. L-E-0. Or Leo. So I've got Leo. There's a panel here that accepts a numeric code. I don't know the number. Well, let's have a look at it first. No, I don't know the number. I don't... So it won't, it won't be that simple. Nothing happened. Of course not. I don't know the code. And this body has collisions. He has been gouged in the torso. In the torso. Gouged in the torso. Anything in these? Nothing useful, apparently. So what's this? On the screen is an email titled New Employee Education. Will you read the email? Okay. Reasons for an employee assigned to this department about the DDK system as follows. The digital disk key, or DDK, is a system that secures our most important areas with an advanced locking device. To release the locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the locking device near the door. DDK code disk X, DDK input disk X. So we need a code disk and an input disk of the same letter. The top of the DDK you need is indicated on the door, A, B, etc. If the DDK type you use does not match, you cannot release the lock. Before operating the system, make sure that your DDK type matches the door you wish to unlock. To release locks protected by the DDK, prepare and set the following two data disks at the locking device near the door. Oh, right, yeah, I'll get it now. X is just, yeah. DDK code disk X, so if it was DDK code disk A, you also need the input disk A to release the lock, I'm assuming. Right. Uh, right, I guess we're going through this door then. Will you want to save your progress up to this point? Oh, thank you. Yes, I will. I'm saving, guys. Look at that. Night. Uh, what's going on now? Thank you. See, now now we have we have a save spot. This is just like, like, oh, okay. Go, God. Alright. Already? That was quick. Oh, already. Thanks. Hey girl, just get going. This is uh, no no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna save state there. And I'm gonna end it there again, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. Tell me in the comment section below. Subscribe if you want some more. And as always, I'll see you next video. So take care.